In your news headlines this week, our wet year has created a challenge for bees. The rain washes away pollen. It's an important food source for that hive. A Wisconsin beekeeper is now using technology to keep tabs on his production so that he can step in and give nature a boost. So that's got lots of nectar in it. So we need to give them some more space. As I got into beekeeping, I very quickly realized that beekeeping isn't sustainable. And I wanted to be in order and, and beekeeping can be very expensive because you're constantly having to start over and buy new bees. And I always thought to myself, you know what, there's got to be a better way to this. Wayne Stiegelman is hoping to update an industry that hasn't changed much since the invention of the modern beehive in 1851. <laughs> Beekeeping has been more of a reactive. It's a, beekeepers tend to say it's an art form, which it is because you're guess, trying to guess what the bees are doing. That's why Big Wayne, as he's known, relies on sensors to manage his hives. It's, it's not new technology. It's just simple temperature, humidity, weight, um, radar, vibration, things like that. The data is sent to his phone. We know that when a healthy hive, a queen, when she's brooding, laying eggs, the temperature in that hive is 95 degrees. If there's an issue, the top box will start, the temperatures will start to dip down. Bees, bees key are, they're great temperature regulators. They do not like change. In fact, on the, on the 100 degree days that we've had, 90 degree days, temperature never budged. And one hive that I had, guess what? The, the top box started going down and, and I knew there was gonna be a problem in there. Well, this spring, even now, we've had a lot of rain and rain washes off pollen and nectar. Well, bees need that to feed that brood. Well, this hive was under so much stress because of that, that the worker bees stopped feeding the larva because they needed to cut back to, to match the, what was coming in. So of course the population of bees started going down. They couldn't regulate temperature, the temperature dipped. And I went in there and I found instantly, well, they had a case of chalk brood. Chalk brood is just, is from what I described. The larva dries up and it drops to the bottom of the hive and so forth. It, it doesn't kill the hive. So the way to correct it is just to take the stressor off of them. So I knew that, hey, I needed to start feeding them so we can feed them sugar water, we can feed them pollen and other, other special supplements to make them healthy. And um, within, within a few weeks, she turned right around and became healthy again. To highlight the importance of this information, he uses dairy farming as an example. Imagine managing your herd with your cows behind a curtain because with as beekeepers, our bees are in boxes and we can't see them. We don't really know what they're doing. We kind of know just from you know, over a hundred years of, of us doing this, where now this technology allows me to see inside the hive at real time. Most beekeepers have to suit up and check their bees every 10 days or so. Wayne can wait longer, saving himself time, but he can also step in to help long before issues become apparent to the naked eye. You still have to be a, a beekeeper because it's not telling you what's wrong. There's just something's wrong. But I can, I can just better manage my time. I can get more honey from less hives from less time. He's good at what he does. I didn't get stung at all. Wayne says that the sensors are going to help him grow to his goal of between 50 and 100 hives. There, of course, is an initial investment, but he says it was paid back the first time he was able to save a colony of bees.